Hey, it's the Frog Queen here, and I'm coming at you with a, an odd video. Um, I decided, oh, I actually got asked to be uh, on the Comic News Insider podcast to talk about my thoughts on the final video of Game of Thrones. Final episode. So, anyways, I did that. Um, you can find it on the most recent um, episode of Comic Insider. Comic News Insider, sorry, oh my god. Comic News Insider, you can find them on Facebook. Um, I think there might be a YouTube channel. There, If you Google it, there's a whole bunch of different social media that comes up. I'll put some links in the comments below. Huh, oh my god. This video is starting off rough. So, uh, forgive me if I refer to my notes so I won't be looking directly at you the whole time. Um, yeah. Also, please forgive the audio. I've been rearranging my house and therefore I've got new equipment I've been moving my equipment and haven't really set up a proper recording area yet. Uh, so I'm getting to that, but I'm not quite there yet. Anyway, so my initial thoughts on the final episode. So initial thoughts, I can only hope that Martin finishes his planned books uh, so I can erase the memory of this season from my brain forever and replace it with an actual beautiful, well-written story that makes sense. <laughs> the one that was intended. Um, I think I've said before, um, I've read the books. I'm actually still reading uh, Dance, Dance of Dragons because uh, I chose to put that off as long as possible. Um, and that's because I was a big fan of the books before the series came out and I didn't want to run out of books to read. I didn't, I had this like horrible concern that, you know, the other books were never coming out and that I was, just didn't want to get to the finish, didn't want to get to the end of the series. So I slowly pick at that book. I'll pick it up. And I only started to pick it up this year when I found out, of course, this is the season finale coming and all that stuff. So I started reading uh, The Dance of Dragons and I just kind of read like 10 pages here and there so I can savor it. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to go into the big differences between the books and this TV series. We know that it's different. It's silly to complain about it. Some things just don't translate well to television and basically they've the televised version is a condensed version of the story. They can't include everything. I get it. Like, I'm not upset about it. Anyway, let's move on. So I think it's important for me to explain that I'm not upset at the ending of the story, but rather it's execution, pitiful execution. I can, of course, accept that Daenerys was certainly meant to follow in her father's footsteps as the Mad Queen and become a tyrant. But as we've all seen greatly criticized, the writers of the show not properly lead up to this with subtle character changes and her decisions and motivations etc uh, they simply decided to make her crazy overnight um, I would have liked to have seen her insanity slowly creep in and sneak up on her and see more of her own personal views of the world and her ego become twisted um, you know the Mad King didn't go crazy overnight so why is Daenerys you know what I mean it was basically to save time I know that we will get this in the books if they ever manage to come out before my death. Uh, the other issue I had with Danny herself was her continued sexual advances to John after they both learn, after, that they're biological, of their biological relation. Um, they keep showing Danny, like, repeatedly coming on to John and then him rejecting her. And I guess this is like to show that she's that unhinged just like the previous Targaryens and that she that he's like the sane one and she's insane because he's like, no, 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 you're my aunt, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it, it really was like this weak attempt to prove that Daenerys is no longer the righteous, you know, uh, leader that we wanted her to be. So, Week. Like, they did it, like, for, like, three episodes in a row. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, we get it. Daenerys is still hot for her nephew. Um, <laughs> we can knock it off now. <laughs> anyway, we got it. <sighs> anyway, my ultimate criticism for the entire series 
or this season, I should say, not for the series, but of this season, is just the deaths of great characters. The death scenes are so anticlimactic. They're soft. They're unemotional. Um, they're lacking the impact that these characters are due. And you need to really provide like prolific characters with the appropriate significance their death deserves. And I really don't feel like we saw that, especially with like various, for instance, this like long-standing, very important character who basically set all the wheels in motion behind the scenes and what, he's just dead in an instant and they didn't really show it, they didn't really do much build up to it. Even the music in that scene wasn't very like intense. Like it, for me, it was just like completely unemotional. It's like, okay, he's dead. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, that's how I felt about it. Um, there's been so much criticism for why this season was rushed, and the reason was pretty clear to everyone. You know, Disney money offered to the writers and the creative team was simply more important to them than finishing this story um, in a greater length of time, which would have been great. HBO wanted them to take more time for it. So once again, you know, money wins out over fans, and I suppose we can blame... Disney over greed, um, but greed appears to be the ultimate culprit for why we had such a short and rushed ending to this long, long story. Um, you know, it's money and greed has helped aid the downfall of like many a television series, show, and film, uh, which brings me to this big question that comes up a lot in comics, for instance, which is like, does do the creators, the creatives? with a very large fan base actually owe anything to their fans. And in the comic book world, like I've always said no, of course, like, you know, the creators do not owe their fans anything, especially attention or the outcome that they want. Um, but I think to a certain extent, this is true when you have a very, very large audience and a great platform, I think there is a responsibility at least to do your best. And I really feel, I think we can safely say that the creators in it here did not do their best. Uh, I think they did their best with what they had to work with in time-wise and their resources, but I don't think they've done their best. They should have taken more time. They could have provided much better scenes for all of these events. Even if the events themselves are the same, they could have provided more detail, better scenes, um, if they had taken a couple seasons to do it. Despite the rush job, which I think is one thing all fans can agree with, this was rushed. I mean, even the writers admitted it. Uh, there were some beautiful cinematic moments still anyway in the final episode. And two that I would like to point out, of course, is the first scene of the episode where Daenerys shows up as she walks out towards Jon um, with Drogo spreading his wings in the background behind her. This scene transforms Danny into that angel of death that she has become with these great black wings. And the second great moment, of course, uh, in my opinion, is the ending. Uh, not many people agree with me on that, but I felt that the scene with the wildlings walking back into the forest beyond the wall um, was a great way to send everything off. Uh, we see their backs as they disappear into the forest. You know, I half expected some cheesy whispering threat of White Walkers, uh, so I'm thankful that didn't happen. <laughs> we gotta be thankful for something here. <laughs> um, as far as tying up loose ends goes... Coffee. Uh, if my mind wanders back to the film and television that has done the task of tying up loose ends to the story, um, or as many loose ends as they could manage, um, I always think of like Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings and how he was heavily criticized for not ending the film on what many people thought was its natural conclusion. Uh, I think there's like a deep wanting from an audience for the conclusion of their favorite characters. Yet when we actually are given that conclusion, we are rarely happy with it. It's so effective and satisfying in books when this happens, but it almost never works in film. In fact, I can only think of like one ultimate ending that wrapped up all the characters epically on screen, and that was Six Feet Under. Um, it had such a great emotional ending, and I actually cried, and I pretty much never cried to film or television. Like, I just, it, it, I'm very unemotional when it comes to those things. Um, but that scene was 
amazing and I'll never forget it. Um, but it made me think, maybe perhaps it's the guessing and the wanting of our characters' conclusions that ultimately holds us and not actually getting it, of course. Mm -hmm. So that kind of made me think and I was like, you know, maybe we didn't need to see all that stuff all those tying up of the loose ends. People want that, but when they get it, are they happy with it? I'm not sure. Anyways, so I really don't feel like I have too much left to say. I don't, I don't really feel like I had that much to say at all, to be honest with you. Um, the, the episode is what it is. I'm not mad at it. I just think it's kind of like half-assed. Um, I figured Danny was going to go crazy. I just thought they'd do a better job of it. Um, Bran being king? Yeah, sure, whatever. I mean, they just didn't lead up to anything properly, so nothing makes sense. But I think it could make sense <laughs> if, if they told the story well. They just, there's some great memes out there. I'll throw them up. Like, this, you know, some of the um, on, well, unplanned things that happened, like Bran going on about, like, I'll never be Lord of Winterfell. But king, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll be king. You know, those things. Anyway, there's so much that others have already said, I guess, um, about this that I don't really feel like I need to go into huge detail on every little thing in the season. This season was ultimately a blip for me. It doesn't erase the good things from the previous seasons. Um, it doesn't mar the books for me at all. I'm still anxious for them to come out and kind of take me on a real adventure. <laughs> but uh, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear what you have to think. Please let me know in the comments below because I'm sure you've all got your own opinions. Um, could be completely different than mine. Were you happy with the ending of the story? Did you expect a different ending? Do you want a different ending? What do you think about this ridiculous petition that's going around? I think it's ridiculous. There's so much more important things to be petitioning on. But, you know, television totally outweighs, you know, all political mayhem that's happening right now, like abortion in the southern states. Anyway, please leave your comments in the comment section below. I like to come in there and uh, chit-chat with you guys. Uh, that's always great. And I think I might um, try and do like a Q&A or something or maybe a live stream or something in the future here. Uh, I'm just still getting over a bunch of my health issues, which I'll post an update about soon. Anyways, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you like it or hate it, whatever. Uh, and follow me on social media. I'm most active on Instagram. And it's the underscore frog underscore queen. And until next time, you know, read something good. <laughs> Watch something good. <laughs> All right, bye.